Good day folks, today we're going to take a closer look at the arm bracers for the DJI FPV drone. We're going to talk about whether they're a good or a bad idea, and we'll take a quick look at how to install them, as there is a little bit of a trick to it. As you can see here in front of me, I have a drone already with the arm bracers installed. I actually crashed this drone with the arm bracers, and as you can see, it is still intact. So did the arm bracers prevent me from snapping off an arm? Who knows? But let's just jump right in and take a closer look. So this is an accessory DJ launched alongside of the FPV drone. They're arm bracers, as you can see here, they're installed. And the theory behind them is that they're supposed to give the arms a little more strength. If you follow any of the Facebook groups, you can see one of the biggest comments that people say when they look at these arm bracers is, now you're going to end up breaking two arms instead of one. Now that could be entirely true, but my thoughts are when it comes to that is, if you have DJI Care Refresh, it doesn't matter whether you break one arm, two arms, three arms, or all four arms, it's going to cost you the exact same deductible. So having these arm braces on there in a really severe crash may end up breaking two arms, but on the other hand, it could prevent you from breaking no arms. It's kind of like if you take a popsicle stick, snap it in half, you take two popsicle sticks, you have to put double the force in order to break it. So for me, I do prefer to have them on just to give me that little extra peace of mind. And as mentioned at the beginning of this video, I did actually crash this drone. I flew it directly into a tree and I was in sport mode at the time and I was pretty well full stick forward. Unfortunately, I don't have any video of it. I was actually just filming a little bit of B-roll and I was flying line of sight, hence why I hit the tree. But there was very minimal damage done to the drone. Of course, I snapped a few props. And if you look at the motor here, I don't know if you can see that on film or not, but you can see the motor's all scratched up. I've got a couple scuff marks there. On the arms here at the back, I have some scuff marks, and I also have some red transfer both here and there. And I'm assuming that's from the props rubbing up against the arms when it was crashing. I did get a gimbal error as well. I think the gimbal took a bit of a hit. I had to clean some bark out from uh, from the camera there. You can still see a little bit there in the in the crevice but the drones in one piece had i not had the arm braces on there who knows maybe it would have survived maybe it wouldn't have there's no really way to know for sure but in that situation i was glad i had them on so i have another set here that i'm going to install to my other drone and they're pretty straightforward to put on however there is a little bit of a trick when it comes to putting the screw in and uh, i'll show you that here in a minute it's not so much of a trick but just something that you got to pay attention to so inside the package when you get it you get an instruction booklet basically showing you how to install it we get two arm bracers and you can see here we get two clips and we get two little screws now you will need some form of tool to install them here I have a two millimeter hex screwdriver. That little Allen wrench that comes with the kit is too small, so you will have to make sure you have something to install them. Installation is pretty basic. If you look at the bottom of the arm bracers, one says right and the other one has an L on it for left. Basically with the camera facing away from you, this is right and this is left. If you take a look at the arm bracers here, we have a cutout at the front. So that's where the front arm is gonna go through. On the back, there's just a cutout where the light shows through. So all you do is slide that front leg through and at this point, you just have to pop it on. Now, you have to put a significant amount of force, and it's almost the amount of force that you think you're going to break it, but you do have to put a good amount of force on it. Once they're on there, they're actually very difficult to get off. If you try to get them off, you can hear a lot of creaking and cracking almost. So I don't know if it's something that you're going to want to take on and off. Now, one downfall to using the arm bracers, if you have a case that has a custom cutout for this drone, Obviously, it's no longer going to fit with the arm bracers installed. If you're using something like a backpack that just has an open cavity, these arm bracers won't affect how it fits. We just do the same for the back there. We just got to kind of force it in until it snaps in. And then we'll do the other side. So now at this point, we're going to take our two clips. They just fit into the back. There's a groove there. And they just line up over that screw hole. Now this next part is where I said there's a little bit of a trick, but it's not so much of a trick, but just something you have to pay close attention to. You don't want to put these screws in from the top down. They'll go in and you'll be able to tighten them up and you think that it's attached securely. That bottom part doesn't actually have any threads in it. It's just an open hole. So if you put some screws in from the top down, that thing will still flop around. It's not attached in any way. What you have to do is put the screws in from the bottom. So I guess it's just a personal thing whether you think these arm bracers are a good idea or not. But like I said, after crashing this drone, I'm going to leave mine on just for that extra peace of mind. I know it may not protect it in a severe crash, 
but perhaps some minor crashes it will save me snapping an arm. Now when it comes to flight performance I've been flying this drone here with the arm braces on for a little over a week now and myself I haven't really noticed any flight performance difference. These weigh about 19 grams so when you take that into effect for the weight of the drone I don't think it's going to affect it that much. Now if you're a person who does very technical flying then maybe perhaps you might notice it but that's not really the kind of flying I do so I don't know if I would really notice if that's the case. Well folks that's basically it for this video. Those are the arm bracers for the DJI FPV drone. Hopefully you found this video informative and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.